The other day, I made a frame for an iPad mini, and I'm going to now make a frame for an iPad 2, I guess, to show a square video that will be a loop. And it will go in the gallery, and it'll look something like this, except it will continue to go on and on and on for ever and ever and ever. Now, what I need to do is um, create, um, as I said, a frame that has a square opening because the square is the, uh, the image is a square uh, video. So there'll be an opening here that you'll see my iPad through, and then the outside is going to be made of pieces of cardboard and stuff that sort of look like the area that I was drawing on my iPad, which is this constructed construction site next to me. So I'm going to be using brown pieces of cardboard, maybe some metal screening, and maybe some erector set piece or something. I made one of these yesterday, or not yesterday, but a few days ago, and I really like the way it looked. So I'm going to do that again today, except what I need to make sure I can do is the one I made the other day is one where I could slide the iPad out and recharge it and slide it back in. I think, you know, that adds extra trauma to my life by doing that. It would be easier to just take the whole thing down, plug it in, and put it back up. But I don't want to use this iPad entirely for this one piece because maybe I want to use it to play a game or to do something else with one day. So it's it's not going to be just a one use item. This is one that I made. This was hung in the gallery um, earlier in the year and it was uh, part of a sign that said Urban Sketchers. This was the last E in Sketcher, Sketchers, and it was on a loop, and it was essentially an E setting in the sunset as a, instead of a sunset. And um, so it's handy for that. Here was one that was a used in another show that was about things that were green and someone in the in our building had this big green sports car. I don't know what kind of car it is. You probably do. So I showed this on a loop in that exhibit. So it's not going to be permanently attached to this frame. So I, what I have to do is build, build it so that I can slide it out when I'm ready to recharge it. And uh, so first of all, we have to find what our size of the hole is going to be. And where's my, where's a square? There's a square. So where's a ruler? <laughs> Damn it. This is what I end up doing. Do I need this? I don't need this. It's a square that's going to be that wide. And it's a square, so it's the same width and height. Period. You didn't have to do that, but it's just double checking. Measure twice, cut once. So I want that to be the opening. So what I usually do is find a piece of cardboard and cut out an opening. And then I build up on the front of it, which is the part you'll see on the facing the middle of the gallery where you'll be standing. And I have to add some, I have to raise up some area in the back and then put a 
thing for this to slide over. So that's my plan. So let's find a piece of cardboard first that I can cut. There's a piece right here. This is rather brittle cardboard, but th does this look like a T-square? No. <laughs> Where is a T-square in my house? I have probably five million of the damn things. Let's do it this way then. I don't who needs a T-square when you have a piece of paper that presumably is square, square cut or pear shaped. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Okay. Okay, so there's the going to be the square, and I'll probably trim this down to be something like that. Knife. This does not have to be accurate because it's going to be irregular as I showed you on my plan. This, however, I think I want to have be regular, relatively regular. Because I want most of the frame to show. There'll be a little bit of overlap here or there just to add some interest. I remember my father once making a collage and then he used a, a frame that would have contained butterflies. So it was one of those black cardboard frames that had cotton in the back and you'd put a butterfly on it and flatten it out. And um, he used black duct tape and electrical tape to to wrap around the edges of this thing and my mother bless her heart bought from my dad a miter box thinking that that's would help him make his frames and she sort of missed the point that his frame was part of the art which, you know, sometimes points are missed. Oh, I think I'm going to have a cut a little gap right here, just for shits and giggles. Oops, I forgot that the iPad also is going to be down there. Ignore that little gap I made because I may have, may not work. Okay, so let's, let's do the front. Ignore this. And, um, and then I'll work on the back. The front is the fun part. So I need various pieces of cardboard and I've got cardboard up the up the yin-yang here. Oh, I've got lots of cardboard. I shouldn't have thrown out the cardboard I was using the other day. So there's a piece. Let's 
see, I like it when you've got the sort of ragged edges here. So I wasn't planning on having any of this be white, but I think I may change my mind about that. Well, Ms. Marilyn Dowling. Well, go back to sleep, Ms. Darling. Um, there's no reason why you need to be up. It's, I'm not gonna say anything that's particularly important the entire time that I'm here. So, okay, let me get, I need some more just regular pieces of Start there. That's a very good place to start. I'll just go around and around and around. Oh, yeah, headaches suck big time. Okay, glue, are we ready for glue? Here it is. There's a nozzle on this thing, but it's clogged. So, screw that. Oops, look at this big blob I made. The other one I made had some black cardboard. Maybe this one for difference should have maybe white. What do you think about that, Ms. Marilyn? I do too. <laughs> I'm pretending you answered. I like it too. Oh no. Does Walmart have a good framing department, frame department? Target has good cheap frames. So I imagine Walmart might. One of my neighbors uh, posted on our 
in-house Facebook page that one of his paintings was stolen off the wall in the lobby on his floor, which is really sucky. Uh, we, we normally don't have such things occurring. Um, it's a beautiful painting of a plastic bag, empty plastic bag, shopping bag that said, have a nice day. And um, it's just too bad that it happened. And I don't think anyone in the building that lives here took it. Um, we do have contractors here. We also had some ambulance people here yesterday dealing with a, a woman who was being brought to the hospital for some reason. I'd hate to think it was them, but I sort of am wondering whether it was. The building manager didn't seem to think so, but someone did take it. And that someone, someone who takes art is probably not an artist. I know that sometimes when I'm, when I might, when I'm out drawing the construction site, people come up and they see the work I do and they, they might like it or, or not. Um, but they, they're always happy to sort of tell you that their son is an artist. My son's an artist. Or something. And an artist is not necessarily someone who just paints pictures. Sometimes there's a little bit more involved. And um, I think, like, some of the workers were telling me, oh, you do this in your spare time. They asked me if I did this in my spare time. Well, no, <laughs> this is my job. You know, I don't ask them if they're digging a hole in their spare time. You know, they're, they're professionals, they're getting paid to dig a hole. Yeah, you're a calligrapher. That's a form of art. Anyway, the, the point is, I think that sometimes people who have never, that might not be schooled in art or understand maybe art a little bit, might be more inclined to take something thinking that it maybe doesn't have value and that's sort of hard to why do you want something that is worthless but you know someone might look at something that i do or something that someone else does and sort of dismiss it because it's what i do on my spare time and it look how easy it was you only you did that drawing in 10 minutes well yes i know 10 minutes and 65 years of learning how to do that. How long did it take you to learn how to dig a hole with that big butch machine there? So it's, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think they would have thought it was trash. It was a picture of trash. Uh, I mean, it was a picture of a bag that was sort of would have been recycling, but, but anyway, it's, it's unfortunate. I, 
you know, I don't, I don't want anyone to take anything that doesn't belong to them, but, um, I remember there was someone stole a painting of mine when I was in grad school and it was a painting that was on a canvas that was shaped in a triangular sort of trapezoidal sh shape and it couldn't be you know used by another artist to paint something on because it was very specifically built so I was wondering you know that sort of was vaguely flattered flattering that they actually liked the artwork enough to take it but you know I spent days and days and days on that and it seems to me that they shouldn't have taken it well I'm the king of I like recycling things. Um, Okay, I need some more brown cardboard. Well, it's, uh, thank you. I mean, it, it's, that's, that's sort of a, a, a beautiful com compliment, uh, Ms. Marilyn, that you see things differently having sort of met me and understood what I find interesting. And, you know, I think anything, any material, any view, any word, that you might write can be beautiful or can be made into art. It doesn't have to be beautiful, but it can have artistic meaning. And um, it might be decorative. It might be not decorative, but very profound. It might be both decorative and profound. Um, my art tends to be decorative. I don't have the the brain cells to make art that's profound. I don't have that in me. But I do like making art that making things that are interestingly attractive, we'll say. Yeah, you know, sticky notes, you know, I do things that I give away. I do things that are that are not meant to be taken with complete or I don't know what's the word I want. Seriousness, I guess. You know, my little doodles I make, they're doodles. They're not meant to be profound. They're not even meant to be particularly pretty, but they're just interesting. Okay, now what do I need to do? Am I finding the white parts distracting? 
I might be finding the white parts distracting. Does it have to be more white or less white? There's an artist that I admire named Kurt Schwitters, and he was a German Dadaist from the 20s and 30s, and he made collages out of bits of paper he would find on, in, on the streets in Berlin and um, make these beautiful collages. And... Um, uh, I don't know where I was going with that statement. Who knows? Okay, do I want to put some other things in this or do I want to have it just be cardboard? Choices can include things like this or this. This is metal screening that might be sort of fun. This is um, plastic knitting, which also might be neat. this some of this on the last one I did so I think I'll use it here as well The um, piece that's going to go in here are big um, 
It's the word I want. Oh, not dump trucks, but bulldozer, bulldozer and excavators. And they're moving around things like this, you know, pieces of metal that girders and parts of roofing and they're just turning it into a big heap. And I just thought that having the piece of paper, the frame sort of mimic what's going on inside would be kind of fun. If I don't like it, I suppose I could spray paint it all black, couldn't I? My father did that in a room of his clothing store. He nailed hundreds of pieces of wood and parts of old furniture and I don't know what lumber on the wall in a corner of a room and then he spray painted it all white and it was really quite a lovely little uh, room. He was in his Louise Nevelson phase at that time. Louise Nevelson was this American sculptress who created a lot of art that um, was essentially assemblages, I think she called them. Uh, not quite sure she had a particular name or not. Yeah, gold might look neat if it was all gilt. And this isn't staying, is it? Come on. The glue is supposed to hold, hold this down. I also have black thread that I could wrap around some of these things too, which I might do. I also have uh, tan colored thread that might be part of this piece. I also have white um, packing tape, which I thought about using on the last one I did, but this could I'll show you. Let's just do it, Pierre Gustafson. What are we waiting for? OK. 
Come on. Undo. No. Yes. 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 A little bit of sparkle. What do you think? This is neat because it's sort of broken in two here, so use both pieces. I love designing things for a, a frame that's already made. I I like the challenge of is there a way to create an art for a particular frame? And um, it's neat. Okay, I need another piece of cardboard. I want one that is. Um, thin, thin wheel, that's the right word. Not wide wheel, but thin wheel. Would that be part of it? Narrow gauge corduroy. They're often used in shoe boxes. And I probably have a million shoe boxes here, but where they are, I do not know. Well, I think, I think you need to remove some ink from your life, Ms. Darling. That would be my advice. Oh dear, chocolate smelling ink. It sounds awful. 
I'm just going to say it sounds awful. But that's that's my humble opinion. Okay, good. Okay. So let's pretend I'm done. I'm not done with the top, but let's just pretend I'm done with the top because I, I want to do a thing, the other part of it here. I don't really have to think. I just have to measure. So if this is my, if this is my window here. I presume the hole would be square. So this would go here. There, sort of. So now what I have to do is build this area up. Because this is going to slide in like this and be held in place somewhat. So I have to build up with cardboard this much space. Now I could use wood or I could use something else, but I'm going to use cardboard. Wood down here would not be bad though. On the bottom. Let me see if I have a piece of wood that I can use. Don't have any wood. Use cardboard. Cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. So 
So that's where it's going to go. So just put it there. Is that how far down it goes? Yes. This is where I need my little clamps. Or a big heavy weight. I think what I'll do is I'll build up stuff first. And then put the weight on it, all of them, at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there was a, some up there. Uh, that are above me by the windows are things that are part of something else already though. Oh, another, another Russian spy. They can go bomb some more maternity wards, you Russians. My desk. is too cluttered with shit. Okay, what I need to do, I suppose, is just set my iPad down on this thing to make sure that it'll fit before I keep adding more. We'll get glue all over the edges, but that's okay. I can deal with that. Perfect. Well, yeah, I could do that. I just want to, I, I want to build it up first. 
the system I've used uh, quite a bit already, so it, I know that it'll work fine. If I was building this for someone that wanted to buy it and they wanted to buy my iPad or put their own iPad in it, I would uh, build it so maybe it would be a little bit more professional looking than it looks. But this is going to be up in our gallery for one month and then never ever be seen again. So I'm not so worried about. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's this this glue is 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 uh, isn't going to harm this thing. This the, my iPad that I'm using is one that's already cracked. The screen is taped, which doesn't bother me. I mean, in terms of this particular thing, the tape kind of adds to the to the tape on the frame. So it's okay. I think I need one more layer and then I can put a back on it, part of it, maybe the bottom where the thing will rest. So let me cut three more pieces. all over the place here. Okay. Oh dear. I was supposed to go on jury duty today, but I got an email from the court saying that I don't need to go in. So that was quite nice to hear. Okay, is this taller? Than this. It is. So now I can put this here. Oh, yeah, there's glue getting in my little speaker. Should have listened to you, Marilyn. Should have listened to you. my iPad. Okay.
yeah, well, I was all set to go in. It's a car that I could borrow from one of my neighbors. And I was all ready to go. Hey, let's see, does this fit in there? Oop, it's hitting a bump. Okay, it does fit. You just have to apply pressure. Well, should we see if it works? <laughs> let's just see if I measured it right. Let's do a, turn it on, open it up. Do the square, put this in. Okay, it turned off. See, I don't want it to turn off. Why does it turn off? Is that gonna be a flaw in the ointment here? might have turned it off by pressing down. There we go. Okay. Fuck me. This is why I need to measure. The button is is, well, there's a lot of buttons. I may have pressed the button on the top rather than the button on the bottom. The home button could have turned it off. Okay, let's see if this works. I'll deal with the button issue later. Okay, there's a square. Move all the glue out of the frickin' way. Close fucking enough. It might be just a little tiny bit of the black edge. You see. But it's not a lot. Close enough. This here, that'll, that'll help. slide in better because it'll be a little thicker at that end. Okay, now 
I'm going to put a piece of paper on this and then put a big heavy book on it. So it will try paper. big heavy book. Okay, see you later, folks. Bye.